everyone welcome back to a new video about the construction of my house if you're new here and you have no idea about what's going on uh, basically me and my boyfriend Daniel who are Portuguese but moved to Norway in 2014 we um, are both architects we bought a plot here uh, in Oslo and we are currently building our house since we are architects we have designed the whole thing ourselves and we are using a construction company to build the house for us I have been receiving a lot of questions from you guys about the whole process of um, finding the plot, buying the plot, finding the construction um, company, designing the house and building the house. There's just like a lot of questions in general. So my plan in this video is to explain a little bit about how like the whole process of how things happen uh, from the beginning until now. So I have to start with explaining how it all started this idea and I have talked a little bit about this in other videos but basically um, we I was still a student actually here in Oslo when my boyfriend Daniel who's also an architect uh, came up with the idea of buying a plot for in the future um, build a house for us here in Norway because our plan is definitely to stay here and so investing our money and our expertise in something like building a house uh, would be a great idea for us at the beginning it sounded completely crazy because as I said I was a student we didn't have a lot of money um, and I didn't even know how to start looking for a plot <laughs> in Norway especially in Oslo where everything is already so built like there's no empty spots in the city but I have a very determined boyfriend uh, who had a plan and started to look at empty plots um, all around Oslo city center and uh, discovered a few of them some were on sale some were not and we just um, got in contact directly with the owners of these plots and tried to see if they were interested in selling uh, the plots to us and for how much we finally found a plot that we absolutely loved it was exactly where we wanted to live and the owner was willing to sell it to us for a price that we could afford <laughs> and so we were extremely happy and started the whole process uh, for this plot and the first thing we did even before buying the plot was to go to the municipality and ask about the plot because there's a lot of things you need to know before you buy a plot for example if you can build a house how much area you can build on the plot uh, if there's some like special rules regarding the plot or special rules about the municipality some places have like rules about how the houses should look like the materials you should use how high the house can be and stuff like this also about the conditions of the terrain and what's around it and yeah just a bunch of rules and like boring stuff that you need to read through the important thing is that before you buy the plot you are informed about everything you can do there just to make sure you're buying something where you can actually build a house we did that there were a couple of problems a couple of things we needed to solve it wasn't the easiest plot let's say but we really liked the plot and we thought that we could fix these problems after a couple of months I think we bought it from the owner we were officially uh, owners of land in Norway which just felt like completely absurd to me and we bought a plot which was a part of a garden it had lots of like plants and trees and bushes it wasn't very well kept so everything was like overgrown and needed some care and love and yeah the next step was to fix all of these problems that we knew we had to fix before uh, starting building and having the permit to build some of the problems were for example the plot had no connection to water the sewage was on the plot but also was not like connected you know there was not a place we could easily connect our sewage to also it wasn't connected to any electricity pole or grid also we had to connect the plot to the road so we have access to the road to enter our house we had to there were so many things we had to um, take some samples of the terrain because the soil could be dangerous also because on our plot we had a river and some trees that we have to do some paperwork like saying that they will be kept or not and how 
would we protect the river, blah blah blah. So lots of things had to be done, paperwork, answering a lot of emails, getting a lot of paperwork from like expertise, saying that everything was good. It took us almost four years until we had all of these paperwork taken care of and that we felt comfortable that we have fixed all the problems so that we could start uh, designing our house um, to get the like valid permit. And this took us to the next phase where we started to actually draw the house. As I said, both me and my boyfriend, we are architects. It was really a team effort to try to build as good as possible, as pretty as possible, as we want it to be, but also thinking about the budget because we did not have a lot of money at the time, so we were going for something as cheap as possible but that looked as good as possible <laughs> if you know what i mean we understood from the beginning that it was impossible to have something exactly as we want it to be with the money that we have so we definitely had to make some um changes and rearrange our way of thinking so that what we were building matched our budget just so you guys have an idea and i know that uh, many of you asked me this already the budget of building a house in Norway is 5,000 euros per square meter. So just think about how many square meters your house has and duplicate that by 5,000 <laughs> euros per square meter and you'll have a notion of how much it costs just to build the house. And this is of course in Oslo. I bet there's other places in Norway where it's cheaper. And also of course if you don't have anything that goes wrong because if it goes wrong it's more money so when we started to draw our house both me and daniel started to do it at the same time so i would draw a house like i've imagined it and daniel did the same thing and we soon realized that our ideas didn't really match in a way really funny and interesting to see that but also very stressful and definitely something that we fought a bit about but i think at the end we managed to come to like a middle ground like a neutral ground where both of us are happy with what we drawn of course it's not like a hundred percent what i wanted and it's not a hundred percent what daniel wanted but it's like it's a good in between and we realized that the best thing to do was if Daniel uh, was in charge of drawing like the house um, like outside like the facade and the main plan and I would give a lot of my input and then I would be more focused on the interior and the materials and stuff like that and Daniel would give his input so it was definitely a team effort <laughs> We have been sitting here for <laughs> some time now doing a coes, like you say in Norwegian, a qualitet seeking, a quality control in English, uh, of our all the drawings we have before sending to the constructor, to the entrepreneur. This is what I have been doing, the plans and the sections and some details and Daniel has my own drawings, which is the coup de plan and the schema and all of that. So we are looking at each other's drawings, marking in red what is wrong, what it needs to change, maybe some extra things that should be added to each drawing. And then we are going to fix it, hopefully <laughs> before Christmas. We did got an answer from the Comuna with the green light, with the permit, which we were so happy about. And this meant it was time to find a constructor to build our house. Finding a constructor was definitely one of the most difficult things we had to do because there aren't that many constructors in Norway which uh, want to build small private houses for an, affor an affordable price or at least the price we could afford to build the house. We sent our drawings and what we wanted to I think close to 30 constructors and some of them didn't even answer back, some of them answer back with a ridiculous offer with very high prices. And then we ended up with four, three, four constructor firms, had meetings with them to see what they could offer and what they thought about the project and have like a realistic price because we drew the house as detailed as possible so we would receive 
a very realistic price. Yeah, some of them were a bit more pricey than others, but also had to do with quality. And also because we are architects and there are many constructors that do not want to work with architects because I guess architects are picky when they are the client as well and they know we will be there the whole time checking what they're doing so i understand it can be a bit frustrated to work with architects that are also clients but we ended up signing a contract with one of the constructors we liked the most and we are very very happy with them and they were ready to start the construction as soon as uh, our bank gave the green light. So for the construction of the house we had to ask for a loan because not in a million years we would have all the money needed to build a house in Norway. So we did that and we knew uh, that asking for a building loan um, in Norway would be difficult just because banks think there is very very high risk on building a house. Everything is higher than on other type of loans and we had to also give 20% of the total amount from our pockets right away in the beginning and that was also very difficult because it was a lot of money but we made it and the bank accepts our loan and uh, the bank also has to agree with the constructor they do like a search about the constructor and they have to say yeah you can use this guy they did that before our constructor can do anything, we have to send more paperwork to the municipality, surprise, surprise, asking for the Ingangstilatelse, this is in Norwegian, of course, which is the permit for the constructor to start building. And this is just a list with every single one and company in charge of everything that is going to be uh, used or done in the plot so for example it's a list with the electrician the plumbing guy the guy that's digging the hole the guy that's taking responsibility about the fire and about the building which is us as architects and about the yeah ooh, the use of materials energy blah 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 so we had to send all of this paperwork. They either say you have to change this and this person or they say it's good, you can start. They said it's good, <laughs> thank God. And in August 2021, we started building our house, which was like the best feeling ever. I'm, I'm even getting emotional. Um, it's such a long process, this whole thing, that at certain point you really doubt if you are going to make it if like if you are going to start building at some point or if you just bought something and at the end you will have to sell it because you don't have enough money to build so it was definitely emotional it still is just talking about it the first thing they started with was cleaning the whole plot cutting down the trees that we couldn't keep and start digging the hole for the foundations which you can see everything in my previous videos uh, about the house. Let me know in the comments what you think, if you have more questions. I tried to answer uh, your questions as best as I can. Really excited things are coming and I can't wait to show you. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you on my next video. Bye!